This is Twit. Did you read the the uh, the um, Nellie Bowles review of uh, Lisa Brennan's Jobs book, which will come out later? In which the most interesting uh, thing in the uh, in the profile, Small Fries, the name of the book, comes out September fourth. Uh, Bowles says that uh, even though Jobs was a complete jerk to Lisa, Lisa still <laughs> forgives him. Uh, but the best part is maybe she doesn't completely forgive him because she said she did inherit millions like the other kids. So that's good. He took care of her uh, in his will. But she, he didn't, she didn't get the whole, uh, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, but she says, if I did, I would have given it to Bill Gates. <laughs> I'm not mad. But if I did, I would have given it to uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, well, it's it's hard to see that as sour grapes or as a as a as a as a as a backward shot. Yeah, they, well, they, come on, they, no. They, I mean, they, really? They've, 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 they've cured a non-zero number of diseases. Yes. Let's just say that. Oh, it's a, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. First of all, she's not getting the money. Laureen gets the money, but uh, got the money. But uh, I just thought it was funny that kind of gratuitous she threw that in. <laughs> if I got it, I would have given it to Bill Gates. There was a story, and I don't, I don't mean to draw this parallel, but there was a story about this famous coach um, and who produced a, a wide range of incredibly talented people, but he was known to be a complete jackass. And people just said, you know, can you be a great artist or a great coach or something right. and not be a very nice person? And the answer is yes. And that may or may not apply to Steve Jobs, but it was my same problem with the Aaron Sorkin movie is that I did not need to see a movie about how terrible a father Steve Jobs is. Right. I needed to see a movie about how he made next because that was the achievement of his life. Right. He was never held up as a, as a model parent. He was held up as a product visionary. Right. I agree. Mm. I know about this stuff, but it's not the focus of. I'm just always amazed when someone writes a book like that because it's like, okay, so you really don't want to have a relationship with that half of the family for the rest of your life. Like, like it's just, you know, you just, well, you just decided that's not worth it. The the other, the other part of that is that uh, she wants to have, excuse me, this is, this is something she's been saying in uh, some of the, uh, the, some of the interviews for this, that she wants to have a voice in that conversation, that there's a story uh, that she's part of, of Steve Jobs story that other people have been telling. And if she's going to be a character in that story, whether she likes it or not, she should at least leave behind her version of events and what what was going through her mind as things were going like that. So that so it's uh, I mean, I don't think that this certainly isn't a cash grab. She could have grabbed more cash for doing it and she could have uh, released it at a better time. Uh, this is not exactly a time where people are clamoring for more information about Steve Jobs. Uh, so I I, I respect if that is her, if that is her main impulse. I certainly respect that. 